Benib, rather, Bemid Bar, Numbers 14. And all the assembly lifted up at their voice and cried, and the people wept that night. And all the children of Yasharael murmured against Moshe and against Aharon. And the whole assembly said unto them, Would to Elohim that we had died in the land of Mitzrayim, or would to Elohim we had died in this wilderness. And wherefore has Yahuwah brought us unto this land to fall by the sword, that our women and our children should be a prey? Were it not better for us to return into Mitzrayim? And they said one to another, Let us make a captain, and let us return into Mitzrayim. Then Moshe and Aharon fell on their faces before all the assembly of the assembly of the children of Yasharael. And Yahshua, the son of Nun, and Kelev, the son of Yephanah, which were of them that searched at the land, rent his clothes. And they spoke unto all the company of the children of Yasharael, saying, the land which we passed through to search it is an exceeding good land. If Yahuwah delight in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it us, a land which flows with milk and honey. Only rebel not ye against Yahuwah, neither fear ye at the people of the land, for they are bread for us. Their defense is departed from them. And Yahuwah is with us. Fear them not. But all the assembly bade stone them with stones. And the glory of Yahuwah appeared in the tabernacle of the assembly before all the children of Yasharael. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, How long will this people provoke me? And how long will it be ere they believe me, for all the signs which I have shown among them, I will smite them with the pestilence and disinherit them and will make of you a greater nation and mightier than they. And Moshe said unto El Yahuwah, Then the Mitzrim shall hear it, for you brought up at this people in your might from among them. And they will tell it to the inhabitants of this land. For they have heard that you, Yahuwah, are among this people, that you, Yahuwah, are seen face to face, and that your cloud stands over them, and that you go before them by daytime in a pillar of a cloud, and in a pillar of fire by night. Now, If you shall kill at all this people as one man, then the nations which have heard at the fame of you will speak, saying, Because Yahuwah was not able to bring at this people into the land which he swore unto them, therefore he has slain them in the wilderness. And now I beseech you, let the power of my Adonai be great, according as you have spoken, saying, Yahuwah is long-suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. Pardon, I beseech you, the iniquity of this people, according unto the greatness of your mercy, and as you have forgiven this people, from Mitzrayim, even until now. And Yahuwah said, I have pardoned according to your word. But as truly as I live, at all the earth shall be filled with the glory of Yahuwah. Because all those men which have seen at my glory and at my miracles, 
which I did in Mitzrayim and in the wilderness and have tempted me now these ten times and have not hearkened to my voice. Surely they shall not see at the land which I swore unto their fathers, neither shall any of them that provoked me see it. But my servant Caleb, because he had another Ruach with him and has followed me fully, him will I bring into the land whereinto he went, and his seed shall possess it. Now the Amalekim and the Canaanim dwelt in the valley. Tomorrow turn you and get you into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe and unto El Aharon, saying, How long shall I bear with this evil assembly which murmur against me? I have heard at the murmurings of the children of Yasharael, which they murmur against me. Say unto them, As truly as I live, says Yahuwah, as ye have spoken in my ears, so will I do to you. Your carcasses shall fall in this wilderness, and all that were numbered of you, according to your whole number, from twenty years old and upward, which have murmured against me. Doubtless ye shall not come into the land concerning which I et swore to make you dwell therein, save Caleb, the son of Yephaneh, and Yahusha, the son of Nun. But your little ones, which ye said should be a prey, them will I bring in, and they shall know at the land which ye have despised. But as for you, your carcasses, they shall fall in this wilderness, and your children shall wander in the wilderness forty years, and bear at your whoredoms until your carcasses be wasted in the wilderness. After the number of the days in which ye searched at the land, even forty days, each day for a year, shall ye bear at your iniquities, even forty years. And ye shall know at my breach of promise. I, Yahuwah, have said, I will surely do it, unto all this evil assembly that are gathered together against me. In this wilderness they shall be consumed, and there they shall die. And the men which Moshe sent to search at the land, who returned and made at all the assembly to murmur against him, by bringing up a slander upon the land, even those men that did bring up the evil report upon the land died by the plague before Yahuwah. But Yahusha, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Yephanah, which were of the men that went to search at the land, lived still. And Moshe told at these sayings unto all the children of Yashadael, and the people mourned greatly. And they rose up early in the morning and got them up into the top of the mountain, saying, Lo, we be here, and will go up unto the place which Yahuwah has promised, for we have sinned. And Moshe said, Wherefore now do ye transgress at the commandment of Yahuwah? But it shall not prosper. Go not up, for Yahuwah is not among you, that ye be not smitten before your enemies. For the Amalekim and the Canaanim are there before you, and ye shall fall by the sword, because ye are turned away from Yahuwah. Therefore Yahuwah will not be with you. But they presumed to go up unto the hilltop. 
Nevertheless, the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah and Moshe departed not out of the camp. Then the Amalekim came down, and the Canaanim, which dwelt in that hill, and smote them, and discomfited them, even unto Kormah. 